This podcast is certified fresh. Freshmediaworks.com. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Marketing Drive. I'm Chris Daly, and this is the show where I use my, uh, my commute time to impart to you a marketing message. Usually it's, it's short, it's sweet, it's to the point, it's actionable, something you can focus on, you can implement right away. My focus today is to stop putting on your own brakes. If, uh, if you're doing content marketing, if you're not doing content marketing, uh, look back in earlier shows, Check out my website, freshmediaworks.com, and find out what the heck it is and why you should be doing it. Because I really have not found a type of company or industry where content marketing doesn't work. Quick summation of content marketing is, is you putting out content and growing an audience. And then from there, marketing to them. But a lot of people get it wrong in that they put out marketing content. Same words, different order, huge, huge difference. So uh, I tell my clients 85, 95% of everything they put out, whether it's in a blog, on their website, in social media, if they do a podcast, if they do a YouTube series, or whatever they do, 95% of that should be educational or informational. And that's it. It should not sell. It should not extol the virtues of what it is you do for a living. Save that for that other 5%. Because uh, I heard a great analogy. I think it was Michael Stelzner who, uh, who used this, or at least I'm going to attribute it to him because I think that's where I heard it, who said, you know, your, your content marketing is like you flying along in a 767 just busting it, you know, just flying however many miles an hour, hundreds of miles an hour they travel. I, I don't know exactly, but you're flying along and you know when you get ready for landing, they pull back on the throttle and that doesn't change your speed a lot, right? It doesn't immediately, you know, throw you forward in your seat. It's not a big stop, but it's when they pop those flaps up, you feel it when you, and, and it kind of pushes you forward. The seatbelt holds you back. So you know it's a drastic difference in your speed, putting, putting those flaps up to slow you down for a landing. Those flaps are when you're putting marketing messages in your content. That's the effect it has on how fast you're flying. And by flying, I'm talking about how much, uh, I guess, people are starting to know, like, and trust you. That's what content gives them. It gives them your opinion, your feedback, your voice, your story. It gives them all of that so that when they do finally decide, hey, I need a widget, and you're a widget salesman, you're the one they're going to think of. But if if you're the one who's constantly saying, buy my widgets, buy my widgets, buy my widgets, I have amazing widgets. Oh, here's three uses for my widgets. You know, that, that's not content, that's marketing. And that is putting the flaps up. <laughs> Your plane cannot fly fast when the flaps are up. So keep that in mind. Full speed ahead, full throttle. Get where you're going. And then, for a very short percentage of your entire time, you mention something like, oh, by the way, got a sale on flaps coming up. <laughs> flaps, widgets coming up. <laughs> Uh, whatever it is, but but you don't do it in a, a uh, you know smarmy kind of salesmany way. You just you just matter of fact let it happen. In fact, I do this on my uh, my blog, writingwiththewindowdown.com. Ten, I've got ten years of content where I bet it's well over ninety nine point nine percent of that content is is just education or information. Or, or just me rambling about something, right? But, you know, a couple times in that entire stretch, I have come on and said, hey, by the way, I got a new book out. Please buy this book. 
you know, when I when I did my uh, student athlete social media handbook, I did it, and when I wrote my uh, my joke book, my newest book, when I wrote that, um, I posted a simple post: "Hey, buy my book." And you know, people did. They went and bought the book, and they went and bought the book because for the last ten years, they've counted on me to be real and to give, 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 constantly let them know that, hey, I'm not after what's in your wallet. I want friends more than anything. I want to share. I want to help people. I want them to help me. I want to uh, kind of nurture that community feeling. And uh, so when I do finally say, hey, please go out, buy my joke book, so, <laughs> It's only $4.99. Check it out. I guarantee you'll have a good time reading it. Uh, then, yeah, they don't mind. They don't mind that at all. So, that's it. That's all I wanted to say this time. Like I said, you know, focus, again, with your content, focus on giving. Don't focus on what you're going to get. All right, this has been The Marketing Drive. I have been and still am Chris Daly. Reminding you to keep it real. You've been listening to The Marketing Drive with Chris Daly. To learn more about how Chris can help your company get more customers, call 713-269-4620 or visit us on the web at freshmediaworks.com.